The marketing wave will begin in Sydney, Australia on September the 3rd and sweep across 12 nations over the following 18 hours. Some stores will open at midnight to catch a piece of the action, offering toys, comics, books and clothing. It's the kind of scale last seen with the midnight parties for Harry Potter book releases in the early 2000s. Steve Sansweet, president and CEO of Rancho Obi-Wan, a museum that houses the world's largest collection of Star Wars memorabilia, says fans of the franchise have always loved collecting. Collecting has always been an important part of Star Wars fandom, even from the beginning. It was really important for kids and later collectors to be able to have something of Star Wars, especially in the early days before home video. You could recreate scenes, wear costumes. It was a way of bringing Star Wars into your home. Disney Studios are calling the event Force Friday, and it's sure to heighten anticipation ahead of December when Star Wars The Force Awakens is released. It's the first in a new Star Wars trilogy and brings back some of the beloved cast from the original 1977 movie, including Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill, and Carrie Fisher. Every lightsaber, every action figure, every costume, every box of Legos tells a story for generations of fans. And this global celebration continues to tell those stories and new ones that we're excited for on Force Friday. The Force Awakens picks up 30 years after Episode VI, Return of the Jedi, and is the most hotly anticipated movie release of the year. Japan's biggest airline, ANA, has announced that three of its planes will be decorated with Star Wars characters, and that they will offer all six of the current Star Wars movies as part of their in-flight entertainment. Disney also plans to capitalize on the trend for so-called unboxing events online, in which new products are unpacked and videos uploaded to the internet. Abdiel Leroy, CCTV.